enough is clean out here. Well, not clean, but good enough to make a chicken coop. This stuff is our daughter's kind of temporary storage. And all the Christmas stuff can, uh, we'll have to wait until after Christmas to get put away up in the attic. But, we have enough, uh, enough space to build a chicken coop now. So, we're going to get started. Alright? Hey there. Alright, so, just took an, another little break here and decided to show you the progress so far. So far... We've got one of the big walls mostly built. And then we've started the other longer wall. By the way, this is going to be 6 foot by 8 foot coop. So these are the 8 foot walls. Nothing pretty to look at yet, but... Uh, so that was the, uh, the uh, stopping point I decided to update you on. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, different day. Notice the uh, outfit change here, but uh, it's next morning. So I, I'm about to go to work, but I decided to turn this on and show you the progress so far. So now we have almost almost done with the four walls and putting them together. You can see there is no floor yet. Obviously no roof, no doors, no windows. But that'll come, I guess, the rest of this week and next weekend. So I'll keep you updated. Next, uh, next shot's coming soon. Hey YouTubers, it's Big Papa. Coming here, my uh, I mean my cell phone, because my action camera is acting up. I'm gonna try charging it all the way tonight and see if that fixes it. But didn't want you to miss out on the next couple little bit on the uh, chicken coop here. So as you can see, I've started laying down two by fours for the floor. So I'll let you sit in a little bit here on uh, getting the plywood uh, cut. Again, I, I don't think, don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, probably pretty obvious. I'm not leaving it in the garage, so I'm just mostly assembling it in the garage, and then I'll be moving it out there um, in pieces. So I'm not going to be, you know, screwing down the floor or anything. I'm just going to be getting it uh, cut so it fits within the studs and everything so there's no gaps in the floor. So, here we go with that. Um, I'll let you watch for a little bit, but I don't want to kill my cell phone battery either, so we'll, but I want you to get a little bit of the experience here. Here we go, here we go.
Make sure my robot's gone. Robot vacuum. What? Make sure my robot vacuum's gone. Oh, you sold it? Yeah, from Craigslist. Cool. Just showed it to him and paid me and took it, so. Got that out finally. Cool. Right? All right, one piece is fitted. Got to do the other side now. Obviously, a little more difficult because we got to cut a piece lengthwise, but uh, not a big deal. I just measured it. Looks like it's about just under 23 inches, so we'll cut it about 22 and 7 eighths, and that should uh, make a tight enough fit. And then uh, we'll have to cut those notches out too, obviously. See you in a little bit. Either there, came back just for a second. I wanted to uh, to show this uh, off on here and give a shout out to my father-in-law Clayton Dunn um, he actually gave me this they moved my in-laws moved uh, to Florida Michigan earlier uh, this year and uh, he gave me gave us a bunch of stuff they did he specifically gave me this I had another one but it was a, a cheapo and uh, was uh, had a couple issues going on with it so appreciate uh the father-in-law for providing a new s circular skill saw circular saw for me and i will be cutting off the end with that and uh probably doing some other cutting as well later on but just wanted to give a shout out to my father-in-law appreciate the uh stuff they gave us and uh be back in just a second Hey there, got that uh, end cut off now. I'm about to do the notches. I was going to do that before I came back and get it all... That piece slid into place, and so we were moving on to the next piece before I came back. But I'd be deeply remiss if I didn't... Uh, since I just called out and uh, gave a call out to my father-in-law, if I didn't give a call out to my wife as well. She's always been very supportive of all my hobbies. And... Uh, since I'll actually be using this jigsaw that she actually bought me a couple of years ago. Um, again, I had one, but I had a couple issues, and she went out and bought me a new one. She actually uh, bought this, I think, without me even telling her I needed this particular saw. And so it was a, a good surprise, and it's worked out quite nicely on a few projects. So call it to my wife. I, I love you, honey. And I... Just wanted to make sure I called out her as well because I uh, wouldn't be able to do most of the stuff I do <laughs> or wouldn't be doing half, half the stuff or be able to do it if, uh, you know, she wasn't supporting the uh, the rest of the uh, family business and stuff. So anyway, I'll be back in a little bit after I get these notches cut out and this board in place so we can move on to the next side. Hey, guys. Back again. All right, we got the other piece in. So now we have everything cut out. Again, we're not assembling it. We're putting it, screwing it down in here. We're just having it uh, ready for when we take it out so it's not so much outside when we're putting it together. More like a, you know, big jigsaw puzzle. Sorry about the light in the back. Shouldn't, uh, do that although I got laid over here too so anyway got that done I'm gonna start cutting out some of the pieces of the roof I may or may not show you that today but tomorrow which will you know be an instant for you guys um, we'll be doing that for sure if we don't do it now and uh, so I'll at least show you the pieces I cut out, but that's definitely not getting assembled in here. Not enough uh, headroom space. And we're going to be 
probably maybe cutting the doors, maybe. Not sure if I'm going to cut the doors before or after I stain in every, every, the outside walls and everything. So, uh, But we're going to be staining, staining it tomorrow. Um, that's it. All right. See you in a flash. And poof, we're back. All right. I went a little farther than I uh, was anticipating before I turned this camera back on. Um, still on the cell phone, unfortunately. But, um, as you can see, the wall's back up. I actually just cut the door on the front, but if you look inside, you can see, um, that's the peak, uh, brace or whatever, whatever it's called. Ridge line, I guess. Uh, that'll sit on top of the two end walls here. And then the, uh, Roof supports, rafters, whatever you want to call them, will attach to that and down to the sides. Um, so I got all of those pieces all cut. Um, turned out that full 4 by 8 sheet or a full 4 foot going down one side will probably be a little excessive. So I'll end up having to cut, the, cut those down a little bit when I go to put it up but not a big deal so then I put the wall attached the wall temporarily again here and cut this door my plan is I think I was originally thinking a smaller door within the door so the there would be a chicken door um, a smaller chicken door for basically colder weather so less you know cold air flow through there in the winter months but uh, I think probably I'll probably just do like a half door type deal so two half doors so only open up one the smaller lower one for winter time and be able to open up the full thing during the summertime to air it out more and there will be on the back wall after I'm done with this side we'll do a just a big door on the back door because the big door is only going to be for um, having more airflow during the summer months and for me to access the coop from that side to clean it out. Yeah, so uh, it's coming along not as quickly as I'd like, of course, but uh, it's, you know, there's just more projects after this one, so. So yeah, so that's where we are now. We picked out the stain colored Bordeaux, something like that from Home Depot. Basically dark maroon, which is kind of what I wanted because that's more of a, you know, farm-ish type color and I wanted the coupe to look, you know, kind of like a little farm house, you know, on stilts. <laughs> anyway, that's where we are right now. You know, we'll be, I'll be back in a couple seconds for you. I may be done for the day here, but, uh, so there may be a wardrobe change when you see me in a couple seconds here, but, uh, keep, uh, keep you posted. All right. Back on the, uh, action cam at the moment. We'll see if it keeps working or not. But, uh, oh, here, let me turn on a little more light here. But, so, got the, uh, a lot of the staining done on the outside. Uh, there's the back door that's stained. And, like I said, the front door is actually going to be two smaller doors. So, those two pieces are down there you can see through now again that thing that's sitting in the middle there is the ridge support that will go on the top and then the rafter pieces will attach to that down to the side but making progress Get back on here when I've made some more progress.
show you tomorrow. See you then. Hey YouTubers, we I am in back. All right, so project done. Well, not really done. It is done to the point that we have chickens out here. Here, let me show you the coop with the chickens. His roosters are a little, a little bit feisty out here now, but uh, so this that is that is the chicken coop to the point of just being able to get the chickens outside in it. I am going to add some trim to it, roof it, and uh, add a automatic water and feeder feeder to it at some point but uh in the next month but i'm gonna get the video out to you this initial video out to you soon before i do all that and then i will uh update you along the way on the other pieces so that is the chicken coop with the chickens um i hope you like the building a little bit um not a masterpiece by any means, but it's definitely functional, which I'm more of a uh, functional guy. I'd rather have something that was functional than looked nice. Not that it'll look bad when, once it's done, but right now it's more of a functional piece just to get the chickens out of the house. Anyway, that is it for this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell if you're, so you can get notified of new notifications or new videos and i will see you on the next video